Welcome. In this video, I'm going to be taking a look at this Kohana 64 gigabyte voice activated recorder. So this was provided to me by the distributor, but they're not compensating me for this video and they're not reviewing it before I post it. If you find this video helpful and you want to purchase one of these, I'll put a link to it in the description on Amazon. And if you use that link, it helps me out a little bit and doesn't cost anything extra. So if we look at the back here, it says MP3, mini, noise reduction, voice activation. It comes with a recorder, earphone, data cable, adapter, manual, and buckle. So let's get this open. So here we have the recorder. See, it's very small. Let's get the accessories out. We have a warranty card, we have a user manual. So we have a USB-A to USB Type-C charge cable. Here we have a USB-C headphone adapter and we have some earbuds. These earbuds are stereo earbuds. They do not appear to have a microphone based upon the connector there. And then here we have a USB Type-C to USB-A adapter. And here's a little lanyard ring. So let's take a look at the manual. So we have some precautions. This talks about what's in the box. We went over that. That was also on the package. Here's product description. We have indicator light, on recording, off save. We have the charge control box connector. This talks about charging. So you want to connect it to a USB charger to charge it. The USB cord also connects it to a computer. This talks about recording operation. It says push to switch to on. Wait three seconds. The red indicator will stay on for three seconds. Then flashes three times and turns off. The device enters the recording state. It says push to switch off. The red indicator light will flash once. Then blue and red indicator will flash once before turning off. The device saves the recorded file and shuts down. This talks about voice activation mode. So it says the recorder defaults to continuous recording mode and can be switched to voice activated recording mode by setting the VOR colon one. Connect the device to the computer. And when the new disk appears, open the REC SET file, change VOR zero to VOR one, save and exit. Recording again and the device will be in voice activation mode. So this is going to have a text file on it. And to configure it, you edit that text file. It says you can also switch to voice activation mode while in continuous recording mode with the control box. Insert the control box and then long press the plus button on the control for three seconds. So that would be this here. So you long press the plus. The blue indicator light will flash three times and turns off to indicate the device has been switched to voice activation mode. Long pressing the plus on the control box for three seconds again. The red indicator will flash three times and turns off voice activation mode. So it goes into continuous recording mode again. So you can edit that text file or you can do it with the controller. You can also set the time on the text file and you can adjust the bitrate. It says the device has a default save time period of 20 minutes. You can set it between 1 and 999 minutes. So the recording is saved to a file every 20 minutes by default. Then it has the indicator light. This talks about the function of the remote. This talks about playback. So you can connect the control box and play back to the headphones. You can plug it into a computer to transfer the data to the computer. And this talks about things that can cause noise. So touching it, wind, things like that can cause noise. Here we have the specs. You can pause and read through those. And here's some troubleshooting. Okay, so I'll get the charge cable out. I've got a USB charger here. I'll plug into it. So you can also charge it with a computer. So I'll plug this in here. Now it's not currently registering, but it might be fully charged already. So I'm gonna let it charge for a while, then I'll come back and we'll test it out. Okay, I let this charge for a bit, and there is a little plastic film on the top of this. It's a little tricky to peel off. I got it off there. So let's try recording with this. I'll flip the switch to on. We can see the red light. It flashed three times. So now it should be recording. So the audio you're hearing now is recorded with the Kohana 64 gigabyte voice activated recorder. My mouth is just under three feet away from the microphone. So now we'll switch over to the computer so I can see what this looks like when you plug it in. So I'll switch off the recorder. So the light is flashing and now we'll check this out. Okay, so now I'm at my MacBook Pro. I'll plug in the microphone and mount it up. And the microphone is off. So it says USB driver. I'll double tap on that. So this looks like the file I just recorded. So I'll open that up in VLC. Switch over to that sample now. On a 64 gigabyte. Okay, so this is the text file where we can configure it. So you can see the time up here. And it looks like there's a little app here called Set Digital Recorder Time. So if you're on Windows, it looks like you could double tap that and it will probably set this to the time of your computer. Otherwise, you can just do it manually. So you may have to eject this to have it work. I'm not real sure. So I'll change that now. So if we want to turn on voice activation mode, we can do that here. 
And then here we can change the bitrate. So I'll change that to the highest, which is nine. And that's 3072 kilobits per second. So it does say advice is five. So then we have the time period. So that's how far apart it's going to record before it breaks apart files. So I'll save this, I'll close it, and I'll eject it. And now we're back over here, so I'll turn it back on. I'll wait for that light to light up and flash. And now it's recording again. So the audio you're hearing now is recorded with the device. And this is recorded at the highest bit rate. And I just paused there. And I just paused again. So when you hear this, that should all be concatenated together. So now I can shut it off. And now it's recording again. So the audio you're hearing now is recorded with the device. And this is recorded at the highest bit rate. And I just paused there. And I just paused again. So when you hear this, that should all be concatenated together. And we do have these headphones here. So I can plug in and plug in the headphones. Now when we mounted up that USB drive, it looks like we can also put music on here so you could use this as a small MP3 player. So I'll put these in and I'll see how this works. So I turned it back on. So it's currently playing the last thing that was recorded. So I can hit play pause here and I can up the volume and I can go to the next and previous tracks. Now this also has a magnet in it. It doesn't seem to be a super strong magnet, but you could magnet this to some surfaces. You can see it's picking up these little bits here with its magnet. So that's the Kohana 64 gigabyte voice activated recorder. So there are many uses for a device like this. You could use this to record lectures in college. Now you might want to record things like a babysitter with this. You will need to look at the laws in your local area to make sure that's legal. That can vary depending on location. So you'd want to check the laws or check with a lawyer. I'm not going to give advice on that. Where I live, you have to notify at least one party. So if I were say doing negotiations on a car, I could take this with me and I could record since I'm one of those parties and I'm notified. Some places require two-party consent and there may be other laws too. But I like how easy this is to use. You just flip the switch to turn it on and you flip it to turn it off. When you plug it into the computer, it has your audio files, so you can copy those over and you can edit them or send them to someone. But if you're not near a computer, you can plug in this adapter and then you can hook it up to headphones. So if you're recording a lecture, you can plug your headphones in and listen to it later without a computer. And then it also has that lanyard there so you can connect that up to it and make it easy to carry. So that's all I'm going to cover in this video. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments. If you like this video, please click like. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, I'd appreciate it if you could do that. And thanks for watching. Until next time, goodbye.